What we will do today, an introduction to uh, uh, systematic innovation, to innovation um, approach that allows to identify, analyze, and solve engineering problem. According to statistics, to bring one product to the market, you need to start with 3,000 raw ideas. Would not, be, would not it be nice if our innovation process is like this? You need a solution, you generated only one idea, and it is the idea, you don't need to generate anything else. I don't have enough resources, limited, bu limited time, you know, all these managerial things that are very well familiar. You know, those are um, typical things. And again, if you have these trends of evolution, you know what the next step for improvement of your cranes will be. And then the next, and then the next. You can predict how the system will evolve. You can predict concepts of future patterns. So you are not in the dark. There are these steps for your R&D or for your engineering improvements that are supported with, as I said, millions of um, uh, histories of products. If for you know, millions of products these trends worked, so the chances that they would work for luminaires, for cranes, for rackets are pretty good. It's much better than just trial and error. And uh, just to give you some, uh, some, some feel what trends might be, they're generic enough themselves. For example, there is a trend that says, in the process of the evolution, the system becomes more dynamic. You have a monolith, the next step of improvement usually something with a hinge, many hinges, so many hinges that the system is completely elastic, then using liquid parts in your system, gaseous parts, and your system uses some fields is it provides, it's like a dotted line. It's like, you know, stepping stones, but you still need to jump from one stone to another. So you still need some brainstorming elements, of course. Yeah, it's, it's a very good uh, comment. So you, you need to have this bounciness of, thing, of thought, right?